Hello everyone, Bridget here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to find your next creative project. This doesn't have to do specifically with writing. It can be applied to writing, but it can also be applied to filmmaking, really any kind of creative project that you are looking to do. Now, I've personally struggled with trying to find a new project and trying to find a topic that I really want to tackle next. So I wanted to do a video talking about how to find that next project and really some exercises that you can do to open up your mind and find your inspiration. The first thing I want to talk about is where you want to go. Now, this doesn't have to do with traveling or anything. It has to do with where you want to be in regards to your creative career. I want you to really think of where you want to be in say five or ten years. Where you want to be in regards to your career as a creator and just map out what you want to do and what you want your creative career to look like. I recently did what you can see behind me. I did a vision board for this year and it really helped me to start thinking about this year in general. and. For this particular video, I don't want you to just think about one year. I want you to think of the bigger picture so that then you can narrow it down and really think of the steps that you need to take in this year and figure out what the next project should be and what kind of message you want to convey. For every creative person, there's a kind of brand that you are going to be conveying to your audience. No matter what kind of creative field you are in, you are probably gonna be known for one thing in particular. As a writer, you're probably gonna be in one specific genre. As a filmmaker, you might explore genres, but you'll have a specific style that you'll really accumulate over time. Basically, you want to know what your core values are going into this. You want to know what kind of message you wanna put across and what you want your brand to be. I know it might seem early to think about this, but your first few projects are going to set the stage for your career, and having this in mind early on will really help you to keep that momentum going on the long term. For me personally, I really want to bring more representation to the media and bring very personal stories to the small screen. I am not looking to go on to the big screen. I don't really want to work with corporations, and having that kind of perspective really helps me to keep everything in perspective so that I don't stray too far from my initial goal. I would suggest writing down these parameters for yourself so that you don't lose sight of what you are really trying to work at. It's so easy to get distracted from what you really want and listen to what everybody else is telling you you should do. Believe me, I've done it so many times. I've thought about going the corporate route but it really just doesn't make sense for what I'm trying to achieve. Okay. zone. <laughs> so one of the most beneficial things is to expose yourself to new surroundings. Now where I am now isn't really new to me. It's kind of close to where I grew up, but I really like coming here, so I decided to come back here and just getting out and not putting on headphones. 
Um, and kind of like getting inspiration from the, like, the houses around, the people walking around is really helpful for me. I'm gonna actually walk through the park with you guys. So one of the most beneficial things that I've found is kind of, it seems like it would be basic, but it's not. It's really just having new experiences and really exposing yourself to new ideas and talking to people. I know a lot of writers are introverts and have a hard time socializing because we communicate through words and oh gosh, I hope I, this puddle isn't, aha, it's cold enough that it's frozen. <laughs> so I just really encourage you guys to just get out of your house and I do this thing where when I'm walking down a street, even if it's a street I know well, people have decorations out around their house. So I will kind of think of ideas of who the people are who own the house and really just create my own narrative of like who these people are. Even just eavesdropping on people's conversations can spark some really interesting inspiration. So I encourage you guys to eavesdrop. Oh, I don't know if you guys can, you can see this park. It's really pretty. It's pretty freaking cold and I think I'm like stepping in some thawing puddles. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is pushing me a little bit outside my comfort zone because I don't usually vlog out in the open by myself. <laughs> There's a dog park right over there. And yeah, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I will catch you guys back at my place. And we're back. We are back from our little adventure. And basically, I want to summarize what I was talking about. From my perspective, writing is all about the human experience. And you can't really find new ideas for your stories unless you have experiences. It doesn't really matter how big or small the experiences are. You can find big ideas in the very mundane experiences. So I suggest just going out, meeting people, catching up with old friends, or just living your life, you will find things. And be open to new experiences. I think it's overrated to read books on writing. I personally don't find them that helpful. They're very... that is really helping me to dissect my own mindset and really dive into psychology which I find really helps with my writing. So I would highly recommend checking out some books to do with self-help or mental health or anything in that realm because they really do help you understand characters. I will be making a video very soon about creating complex characters. This is actually going to be the next video that I'm uploading to my channel. So please subscribe and stay tuned for that. I think that's everything I have for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. Give it a like if you did. Share it around if you know someone who you think it would help. Subscribe and hit the bell. And leave a comment as to if you have any tips to get past that stage or if you're currently in it, what you're struggling with. And yeah, I will catch you guys on Tuesday with another video. Bye. Oh, what was I saying? Take two.
this lighting looks crap. <laughs> Nope. <laughs>